Okay, so let's say that we have decided on bundle x1, x2, and that the prices are p1 and p2. Here is the starting point of our analysis. What will be the cost of this bundle? Well, if I buy x1 units of good one, each at a price of p1, then I will pay p1 x1 for these x1 units of good one. Similarly, I will pay p2 x2 for the x2 units of good two. Therefore, the total cost of the bundle is p1 x1 plus p2 x2. We can view this expression as a function that we call TE for total expenditure. We will typically view this as a function of the x variables since those are the ones that we try to explain. Prices will for most parts remain constant. Note that the total expenditure function is a linear function in both of the x variables. Let's play around a little bit with the total expenditure function. Say that P1 is equal to two in some currency. Perhaps this is two Swedish crowns for one cookie. We have a second good and let's just say that the price of the second good is three. In this case, the total expenditure function as a function of X1, the quantity consumed of the first good and X2 is equal to P1 times X1 or two times X1 plus P2 times X2 or three times X2. We can now just plug in values of X1 and X2 into this function and that will give us the total expenditure. For example, the total expenditure of consuming three units of good one, three cookies say, and zero units of good two will be two times three, that's six, plus three times zero, that's zero, so that will be six. Now, three comma zero, that's a consumption bundle, which we can illustrate in this diagram. X1 is three, X2 is zero, so this bundle is right here. This bundle has a total expenditure of six. In the same way, every point in this Cartesian coordinate system will be associated with a total expenditure whenever we have some prices. So here's a question for you. Can you find any other bundle where the total expenditure is the same six? Well, there are actually a lot of them. For example, if I consume zero units of the first good and two units of the second one, then the total expenditure will come out to be six as well, three times two. So this bundle right over here, where x1 is zero and x2 is two, also has a total expenditure of six. Since the total expenditure function is linear in x1 and x2, every bundle on a straight line between these two points will have a total expenditure of six. Here is the line. For example, if I consume one unit of good two, we can see that if I also then consume one and a half unit of good one, the total expenditure will be six. So T of 1.5 and one is also six, which is true since two times 1.5 plus three times one is indeed six. Similarly, every point on this straight line will have a total expenditure of six. Here is a summary of what we just did. P1 is two, P2 is three, the total expenditure function is 2x1 plus 3x2. In our coordinate system displaying all possible consumption bundles, purchasing any bundle along the red line will be associated with a total expenditure of 6. Note that those are the only bundles costing precisely 6. All bundles to the left and below the red line will cost less than 6 and all bundles above and to the right of the red line will cost more than six.